Hey guys, it's Jay from ChopHappy.com and today we're gonna make a fabulous Greek creamy potato salad. Oh my God, it's so good and so easy to make and it's a make ahead meal so you can eat it tomorrow if you want. Make it today and eat it tomorrow. Okay, so here's what we need. We need two and a half pounds of potatoes. I use these red potatoes, but you can use Yukon Gold potatoes, whatever you'd like. But what we're gonna do is my secret to the flavor. Don't tell anyone, actually you can tell whoever you want, is to take two and a half pounds of potatoes, boil them in chicken stock instead of water. So the same thing, put the chicken stock should come up to just to the top hat of the potatoes um, and a big pinch of salt and you boil it and then after 10 minutes, um, it should be done and you drain it and you set it aside to cool the potatoes. Um, but there you go, so I put that aside. That's the first thing you should do is make your potatoes so the rest goes good and you cool it right there. So let's make the sauce. So for the sauce, I am using a mayonnaise base for this one. So I used a half a cup of mayonnaise. So I hate when potato salad is really dry or too creamy. So a half of a cup seems to work really well. A quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes for that background pal spiciness. The free ingredient, this is lemon zest. So I zested a whole lemon. Um, we're gonna use another lemon when we're done, the actual juice of the lemon. And two cloves of garlic, two cloves of garlic, and I grated it. So let's add to this right here. So I'm gonna use a three finger pinch of salt. And this looks like a lot of salt and this looks like a lot of pepper. This is a three finger pinch of pepper right there. But it really isn't, because remember, we have to coat those potatoes. Now, I'm also gonna take that lemon, a half a lemon that I used for the zest, and so that you don't get any seeds in there, we don't wanna pick out any seeds, we're gonna put it up top, cut side up, and I'm gonna squeeze it right into there. Ah, oh, that'll get my muscles from my soul cycle. Here we go. And then, the background flavor, this is actually the unsung hero right here. We're gonna use some vinegar. We're gonna do two tablespoons of vinegar. Hello. Two tablespoons of vinegar, and the vinegar, this is white wine vinegar, but you can use red wine vinegar, whatever kind of vinegar you have in there, except for balsamic vinegar. I don't know if I would use that, and we're gonna mix that up. Look at that, it's a little watery, a little bit creamy, but look at that. Oh, that flavor, look at that beautiful stuff right there. So that was step one, pretty easy, right? This is something you can do in less than a minute. Now, I am gonna put the potatoes in there too. Hello, hi potatoes. I love potatoes. I love my trick of using chicken stock instead of water because you're guaranteed all reward with no work for Flavorville. All right, so look at that. We're gonna coat these potatoes. So in the second part, we're gonna add lots of veggies. This is also a money saver because you don't have to buy so many potatoes. So here we go. I have a full pint of tomatoes and a half of a cucumber cut up in big chunks. Uh, Greece's favorite veggie. This is dill, a whole handful of dill I cut up, and then salty and briny Kamalata olives. If you don't like them, you can keep them out. And as always, I love to put some onion in my um, potato salad because it adds that beautiful flavor and that beautiful palate, but I keep them big in case any of my guests don't like onion. And the king of Greek cheeses, feta. Feta cheese, so I have a handful of feta that I just crumbled up, or about a quarter of a pound of feta, right in there. All right, so me and Tom actually went to Greece together, and we were in this restaurant, and it was so funny because this couple was so excited, I'm putting all the veggies in here, by the way, so excited about how good their meal was, they just kept saying congratulations really loud and thing, and it was so funny and so fun, and the people were so excited that they were that happy that the waiters were like saying congratulations back, and we laughed so hard. Every time I make something Greek just like this, I think about that experience, OMG, and I just close my eyes and I feel like I'm right back there again. So I'm putting all the veggies in there, and I'm putting the feta in there as well too. I love dishes like this, where it's just dropping it. And if you notice, everything's already cut, right? So that is a really good tip to have hap chopping happy, is to cut all your ingredients and prepare it first. The fancy name is mise en place. Right. How beautiful does that look? Oh my God, I think it's time to try this. All right, so let's grab in to this. I have to get a kalma olive, they're my favorite. Oh my God, right there too. Okay, ready? Mm. Oh my God. It's just so good. Mm -mm -mm. Happy dance. Guys, this is so good. We should become friends so we can cook together so that you can know all about this. But go on chophappy.com if you missed any ingredients or you want to learn more about this or more recipes. Mm, I love you guys. Wow.